All right, guys, let's make an 11 t website. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up your terminal. I'm in a new folder. Mine says 11 t lesson, name is whatever. Open up the terminal and you're gonna do npm init dash y and that's gonna get your npm started, your uh, package rather. And then from there, if you don't have it installed, do npm install and you're gonna do dash dash save dash dev at 11t slash 11t and you hit enter I already have it installed so it's just going to be a quick uh, run through of that let it run I'm going to pause it here so we can skip ahead all right so now we have mpx at 11t slash 11t all right, so it's going to wrote no files because nothing is started, right? So we just did that just to make sure there's a local installation and went okay and everything's running. So the first thing you want to do is make a file. So let's do file, new file, index.md. All right, and then you're also going to make a new folder and it's going to be underscore includes. Now, in our includes folder, we're going to make a new file. And we're going to call that layout.liquid. So we're going to be using liquid for ours. Uh, I know Nunchucks is very popular for this as well, but I would stick with the liquid because I'm familiar with it. It's used in Shopify, so a lot of people are familiar with it. So let's do that. So the first thing you're going to do is do an HTML. Now, mine is actually running as an HTML file. There is liquid if you get the extension. I have the extension installed, so I went to, you know, extensions, I uh, did liquid, and it is there um, installed. The reason why I'm using um, HTML instead for my file is just because I like to do, be able to tab, so I had tab, so I like to be able to do that, so that is why I have saved as an HTML file. So, for our title, we are going to just put title and double curly braces and then same for our body we're just going to put double curly braces and content because that's where it's going to uh, the index.md is going to fill in our title it's going to fill in the content all right so also what we're going to do for this project is we're going to do uh, paper css so you're going to go to getpapercss.com and grab the CDN. So this one right here, this link right here, we're going to use that. And you can actually copy all of this just so you have all the, the metadata. So I'm going to put that right at the top of the head on top of the title. So save that. And I'm just going to call this layout just to make sure that it's running. All right. So then index.md, we are going to put our information for the to fill in that website or that like liquid layout so we're going to write dash 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 layout colon layout dot liquid and under it we're going to do a title like my new website and then dash 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 and then you can just write whatever hello this is my new website you're going to save that then you're gonna go up down to your terminal and you're gonna write the mpx at 11t slash 11t and what you're gonna write is dash dash serve. And once you do that, what it's going to do is gonna watch those files as they get updated. So now when I go to run it, you're gonna see my new website is a title. This is the layout from the actual layout, which we won't need after this. So layout right there is showed up right here. And then hello, this is my new website. And you can also see that the text is nice and um, papery. It's like a handwritten text almost. And that's because our paper is, is working. Paper CSS. So now that we have that, we can actually start making folders and doing a like a blog. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need a nav bar, right? Because we're going to want to be able to swap between these so let's go to paper 
CSS. I'm going to put this tab right in there. Oh, I think I'm going to do it. There we go. So let's go to components and we're going to look up navbar. No, nope, not modal. We're not navbar. And we see this navbar here. We're going to use that one. So there's no split and split, which look the same. So there we go. So this one's a no split. This one's split. You pick out whichever you want. So I'm just going to grab all of that. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go in here and I am going to go inside my includes folder, new file, and it's going to be nav.liquid. And there I'm just going to paste that nav. And I'm going to change this to uh, Mike's site, because my name is Mike. We'll have that as be slash. And then for our links, we're just going to have um, home. Let's do oh, home. If I can type, we'll put a slash. We'll put blog. Um, we will do portfolio or no, we'll do projects. So that's going to be slash projects. And I'm going to shift and grab those shift alt down. And I'm going to put contact for the last one. So there'll be contact and save. So now we need to put that into our layout. So over here, instead of this layout, take out that text and you're going to put curly brace and then percent. So there's going to be a curly brace open and then the percent and then percent curly brace close. Inside, you're going to put include nav. And you don't have to put dot uh, liquid. It's going to automatically assume that's there. And now when we go here, we see that we have bike site, home, blog, projects, contact. Perfect. Well, let's also grab, let's grab, what am I thinking? Thinking about something. It's coming in a second here. It's coming. Let's grab a main area container. So if we go down to layout container, <clears throat> we want to have a responsive container like this. Uh, we could do either medium or large. We'll see how they look. So let's grab this content and we're gonna put all the content inside of a folder. So div and we're gonna do container, container, LG. And we're also going to, oh, I'll show you the difference. So let's put this in there first and save. And we got a whole lot of nothing. So let's go to our index and see what's going on. So oh, it's, like, oh, it's at the very top. So that's fine. So we're gonna to have to move that down in a second here. So what we do need is we need like a margin top large, save that. And it didn't move down enough. So we're gonna to to add some CSS to move that down. So what you need to do is new file. You can actually put this in the folder or put it right on the um, top layer. It's up to you. Um, realistically, I should put it in the folder, but I'm not going to, I'm being a rebel. All right, so I put that there and I'm going to do dot empty large and I'm going to have a margin top and make it uh, AEM. All right, so now in our layout, we're going to add that instead of this, which is a built-in paper CSS, we're going to use our empty large. Now, if you notice, this styles.css is not being added to our site because style uh, by default, 11t doesn't know to add that into our uh, formats. So what we do is stop the server. So control C or command C if you're using a Mac, hit yes. And what you're going to do is write npx at 11t slash 11t. So we've pretty familiar with that. And after that, what you're going to write is dash, dash, or hyphen, hyphen, uh, formats. And then you're going to add all the formats there. So you can say like HTML, which is pretty, pretty obvious, liquid. And then we're also going to add CSS, JPEG, GIF, and WebP. WebP is a format that sometimes happens here and there. And we'll just put it in there just in case. So anytime you want to add any other type of file, you're going to go to that format and serve that. So hit enter. And then you can go back and serve. And finally, in your layouts, just do a link tab. 
and styles dot CSS. And if you put a folder, obviously you'll have to do the folder CSS style CSS. Hit save. And there it is. Our guy is now visible because it has that extra space. And let's add the paper class as well. You don't have to, but I like the look of it because it makes it look very like a, you know, a piece of paper. So you can kind of see how it's on a large, it goes all the way out sometimes. I like it. So it looks pretty good. Now, we need to make a blog. And we are going to do that in the next lesson because we hit about the 10 minute mark and this is going to make it quite long. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.